Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. As you can see, we are at our last footpath for the Ether Current. We're down here in the southwest corner, so I was wrong. It wasn't over here, nor was it over there. But we found it. So let's go ahead and suck it up. And then we are done for this zone looking for these Ether Currents. Except for the quests. We still got three more quests to do. One is usually the main story quest line. So we're still waiting for the other two to pop. Ain't that pretty? And then we will use the crystal to get on back up there. Save us a few minutes from running. Going we'll here all the way up to that castle. That's being held up by the magical fingers. So let's see what this guy has for us. We're supposed to do some task or something. I don't know. What's all our people say here? Uh, yep, yep, yep. we seen that. Yep. All right. We read all that last time. Batu. The labors of Magni. Batu shall tell you how you might serve the Ornar. All right. We've got some gear. we got experience. Let's go ahead and accept. Cross my hands too. Warriors of the Steppe, by the grace of our most radiant brother, you would not die this day but instead be granted an opportunity to contribute to our cause. Rejoice, for this is a great honor indeed. Serve well and you will be rewarded. Question. You keep calling Magna your most radiant brother. You're not related or something, are you? All or not. Our descendants of Father is in. But if you mean to ask if our mothers are one and the same, then no. The most radiant is the elder brother to the younger, the strongest and most deserving of respect. No more interruptions. Your duties are as follows You, the red woman, you are milk our beast. To grow strong, one must be well fed. We have great need of kumas and cheese. Is that it? I mean, I'm not happy about all this, but I suppose I can go along for now. You, the one who lumbers as a mountain. Huh, an old warrior, I see. We have arms and armor in need of repair. Go and speak with our mentors. I have no talent for delicate work, but if that is your wish, then so be it. You, the insolent fool, as for you. This one carries the fire. The Buddha God will take his measure. Seek my comrade outside tending to the stores. He will give you your task. You will know him by his claw. Unlike they of the yellow, we are of the green. I, for one, would welcome the opportunity to learn more of the Boga and their ways. It would be an honor. And then there is me. Why he keep shrugging? We shall speak of your task outside, with me. Got lucky I don't take all y'all out right now. But we gotta be democratic. Magni, son of spoken, see to your task. All right. Where'd you go? 
We're looking for our friends right now. One's supposed to be milking. One's supposed to be doing armor. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's just get to our task. All right, BU. Bye, two. Your name, foreigner. Tick man poked you in the eye. Tick man, then. You are to dive into Azim Cat below the Dawn Pro and gather sword grass from the lake bed. It is an invaluable ingredient in many medicines. Eight bundles you will bring. You will need to dive deep to obtain that which you seek. But that shall pose no trouble for a true warrior, no? Some say that the dominion of the Dawn Father and the Dusk Mother does not extend beneath the water, but ours does. Indeed, our owner, fear not above nor below. Speak with the guard to descend. We shall speak again when you have finished. I gotta go see the guard instead of just jumping off like I usually do. It's okay with me. I want to find my friends though. Where are they? Let's take a quick. There's Beast. Is Beast around here somewhere? It's the Falcon Porter. There's some more Beast. Run right through the horses. Almost broke all their legs. Got people working out. Yeah, I don't see my crew nowhere. Huh. Moving on then. Moving on. Get back around to our quest giver and do our labor work. Run through them all. They don't even know what hit them. Spearman, gate guard. Yes, yes, I know who you are. You wish to go below? Yes, I do. What's next on our task? Next, we need to dive deep. Obtain sword grass. All right. Luckily, we can breathe underwater. There's our first piece right there. Swim up a little bit so we can see a good, good view of the place. And where are we at? It's our second piece right there on the map. Swim up here to the left. Well, depending on which way you came from. That's piece number three. Looking for more. What is this bubble? I need to know. Is this an air bubble? Can't click on it. Let's 
sword grass, where are you? As far as I can zoom out. Oh, I see a piece. Over here. Oh, and that's where we're at. So we may have to go out some more. Oh, I see another piece. Right under like a bridge piece. Bridge part. Far away. Gathering, that's where we're at. See another piece right up over here. That's where we're at. Let's go up a little bit, get a good view. Swim back. I've seen some glitter over here at the corner of my eyeball. All right, auto run time. Oh, there's one. This will be number seven. That's where we're at. Looks like we got one more in that patch over there. Awesome. And then he's gonna ask, how did you hold your breath for so long? And I'll be like, it's an industrial secret. Can't tell you nothing about that. I know, I know. It's a slow progress. There it is. Got you. So I'll show you on the map as soon as I get there. And that's where we're at. And then back up we go. Long way to go. Sorry, we got this. Oh, the bridge is right up above us. That's cool. Jump out. Boom. And back up we go. Let them know our task is complete. I could have just teleported up there, but you know what? Don't need to do all that. Oh, by the only by the grace of the most radiant may ascend to the dawn throat. Remember this. Oh, I am the most radiant. That's why we going up. Now, where's this guy? So we can get back to our mission. That too. He returns and with sword grass in hand. Eight pieces as asked for. So named for its long narrow shape, this plant thrives in the depths as a Zen cat. That you would immerse yourself in the depths is a testament to your bravery. Well done. Lest you wonder, we will use it to prepare potions to induce paralysis in the Nadea. We must use every means at our disposal to delay our foes. He who inscribes his deeds upon the sacred ground shall be declared the victor. However, none may know this place that our girl has settled or scattered their soil. It matters not, we shall be swift as stallions and fierce as Barras. Steppy will be ours once more. 
Your tribe is accepted. You will return to the most radiant. Or your tribute is accepted. You will return to the most radiant. And you may beg a boon. Ooh, beg a boon, huh? Who doesn't love the beg a boon? It's almost like beg a bar. Here we go. Oh, Ian, you're back. Ah, there you are. The others have yet to return. All right, Mego. And I, am I to understand you have completed your task? I know not what yours was, but mine was surprisingly simple. They bade me carry various goods and sundries from storehouse to storehouse. Alas, it was difficult to learn much with all the Buddha swarming around. You dove deep into the waters to harvest soil grass? I see that as well. Most radiant brother Mike, we have given you tribute as demanded. Were we to beg leave to depart with our comrades, would you consent? We never intended to press you into our service, and tribute offered in good faith cannot be denied. To grant you not in return will be an affront to Father Azim. However, the boo must be proportional to the supplications. What you ask for exceeds what you have earned. Uh oh. Then, if we must remain here, would you at least permit us to learn more of your people and your ways? The Baron Katan taught me but a faction. A fraction, you see? How this world, born of the gods, was to be their battlefield, their creation to fight in their stead. How Azim, father of the dawn, he who birthed the sun, and Nahim, mother of the dusk, she who birthed the moon, made Ara. Yet through these children warned, warned for a time, eventually they laid down their arms and came to love one another. So the gods bequeath this world to the children and ascended to the heavens whence they came. Those born of the dawn, father were called the rain, and those born of the dusk, mother were called Exena. So it was and ever after. But I say to you, brother Magni, how can this be? How can Orno be the children of Azim, if they are exile born of Nahemad? You amuse me, Doma. How you wield your ignorance as a weapon. Very well, I bid you speak with our elders and learn the truth of this world. The labors of Magni is complete. We're done with our task. We get some gear, we get some XP, and we get a completion. Boom. Boom. And that's it for today. So thanks for joining me. Come on back tomorrow. And we're going to be doing main scenario quests for the love of the moon. If there isn't any purple quests that have popped up. Let's go ahead and do a quick check. Looks like we are clear, so join us tomorrow.